Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, when you've all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rakar Kadash, the boss of the apostles, the boss of the elders, the great millstone, rule well, and tell us his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preaching his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David, hopefully, like and speckle bird, one say shalom. I just want to do this quick lesson. Uh, saw this dude, uh, <laughs> what he called himself, Charlemagne the God. All right, hey, looking like Charlemagne the fool. Of over here wearing a dress. Now I looked it up. Pretty much, it was like a. What it what it appeared to me it was like a fake, uh, a TikTok video. It was like he put his face. Over the over the video. Then again, I could be wrong. <laughs> hey, he that that could just be him wearing a dress. But as a man of the Lord, you know, we're meant to call out, call out the wicked of our people. Let them know, hey, you better repent or get cut down. And likely Jake out here is not going to repent. They're not going to take heed to the man of the Lord. You know, really, it's the Lord. Calling them, they're, they're, they're not going to take heed. And so they're going to get cut down. And so as a man here in Babylon the Great, you know, they uh, they want our men to be effeminate, to be weak. They want our men to push out this weak vibration, man. As uh, <laughs> Kwame Brown would say, that weak weasel, you know, that weak weasel energy. That's what our, That's what the enemies want our people to be like. All right, our people envy this man Esau, Edom. Matter of fact, let's get that. And the Lord tell you not to follow in the ways of the heathens. But our people want to do that anyways. Give me one second while I turn to it. This is uh, Proverbs 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. And that's what our people is doing. They're choosing the ways of oppressor. Now, rather he was actually wearing a dress or not. Hey, I bet. I bet behind the uh, closed doors, you know, this, this dude's actually wearing dresses. You know, you can just see the way that he moves, the way they be talking sometimes. Hey, man, this dude's effeminate. Matter of fact, let's get this. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. This is a commandment. This is what, as a man of the Lord, we're supposed to do. And as a man of the Lord... We don't put out that wicked vibration of men wearing a dress. We're not even in a joking fashion. We're not going to wear no dress. Why? Matter of fact, it uh, it says in the scriptures, that's an abomination. Let's get that. One second, we'll turn to it. This is uh, Deuteronomy. In one second. 22 and verse 5. A woman shall not... Right, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Why? For all that do so are abomination unto you. How thy power? This is abomination. So, as a man of the Lord, we're not supposed to put out that wicked vibration, just like we're not supposed to, uh, uh you know, uh, you know, you got these uh, dudes in Israel saying that you could call the Lord whatever you want to call him, man. No, you can't do that, man. That's wickedness. You wouldn't call your rib anything that you, that you want to. Why do you think that you can do that to the Lord? Or, you know, speak all these forward things that the Lord is against. You know, because behind the scenes, they're getting that bag. But staying on track, you know, once again, this is what our people do. Esau Edom throws them that bag to put this wicked vibration out for our people. And 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 they and they roll with it, man. It's wickedness. And the Lord said not for us to uh do that, man. Matter of fact, let's get this. This is Isaiah 9 and verse 15. The ancient and the audible, he is the head, and the prophet that teaches lies, he is the tail. So actually, the true man of the Lord. All right, where where are the heads? But our people don't look up to us. They don't they don't want to take heed to us. They hate of him that rebuke in the gate. You know? Under this rulership of these <laughs> damn Edomites, the so-called white man. All right. 
Our people, our people want to join hands. They want to love their enemies. You know, they, they want men to be effeminate and weak. Weak weasels out here, man. No, nah, no. Nah. But let's get this. Verse 16, the point. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. You see? And they that are led of them are destroyed. So you putting out this weak weasel vibration, Charlemagne the guy. <laughs> Which right now you you you're in a worm like state, man. You weak. Hey, you weaker than a worm. Right now you just you just dirt. Alright? You dirt right now. You really about to become dirt. Because likely these dudes ain't going to repent. They ain't going to take heed to what the Lord tells them. All right. So Lord going Lord going to jack, jack these dudes up, man. He's going to jack these dudes up. Matter of fact, let's get this. This is Isaiah 1 and verse 3. The ox know of his owner and ask his master crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. They, they don't consider, man. And the Lord, the Lord said, uh, um, giving you examples of two dumb animals. At least they know they master, man. At least they know where they're getting they, their food from. But our people, our people want to be proud as hell to call themselves black. <laughs> they they want to be the uh, Egyptians so bad, booty eating Egyptians, man. No. All right, we are the Lord's. We are the Lord's chosen people, but they don't want to be that. A sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, seeds of evildoers. You see, everybody comes in their lot. And these are seeds of evildoers coming back in their lot. Children that are corrupt, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They have gone away back. Hey, man wearing a dress and you can see on his face some makeup. You going backwards, man. You, you you are turning the Lord into anger. As the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. All right? Hey, so your judgment is coming. We're, we're, we're in the year of the Lord's turn up. So the Lord is about to turn up judgment in this year. All right? I'm going to give verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. You see that? Hey, Koholo Yehobashimel Shabashim Kakadash that the Lord left that small remnant for us to get this wisdom knowledge understanding because as you read in the scriptures the Lord doesn't want everybody to get this wisdom. You know? He does it. And so, hey, that small remnant is not going to bow down. The small remnant is, got, is not going to follow the ways of Esau, Edom, or Babylon. They're not going to put out that wicked-ass vibration, man. We're not going to do that, man. That small remnant. Okay? Matter of fact, let's let's get this. First, uh, First Corinthians 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous now shall not inherit the kingdom of power? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. All right. It says, nor effeminate or abusers of themselves with mankind. And in this wicked ass <laughs> kingdom, queendom. All right. It pushes that for our men to be effeminate and Charlemagne the God. All right. That's that's a wicked ass man. <laughs> that's a effeminate dude. You think he's going to make it? No, he is not going to make it. Okay? Abuses of themselves with mankind. Hey, probably behind closed doors. That's Hey, that's what they doing, man. I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to get a couple more scriptures. I'm going to close out. All right? This is, um. let me see what I was going to get. Let's get this. This is Isaiah 28 and verse 14. Wherefore, Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. Hear scornful men, the rulers, uh, the ruler which peep Salaki, the rule that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. Salaki, verse 15, because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and hell, we are in agreement with the overflowing score shall pass through and shall not come unto us. 
for we have made refuse our lies and on the falsehood we hid ourselves. You see, you know, they thinking, hey, hey, lay down in the bed where you saw, you know, hey, I'm good. You know, I got this bag. I'm good, man. Ain't hey, no death, hell, and destruction going to come unto me. But, that, hey, that's quite the contrary. It is going to come unto you as, as we read, as we'll jump down to verse 18. Your covenant with death shall be disannoyed. Your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overthrowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. So, hey, the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. It's going to happen. Your covenant with death will be <laughs> ripped apart, man. Okay? You, you're not going to be able to stand in the day of Jacob's trouble or when, or when the Lord comes back, right? Have the Lord, you know, save you up for that day. Hey, you are going to get a harsh judgment. You're going to dwell in torment, as it says in 2 Ezra 9. Hey, you're going to dwell in torments because you abuse the Lord's ways. You put out that weak, wicked, weak weasel vibration, man. All right? So, Lord willing, it's edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Rakar, Gadash, Wa, Abba, Baba, Shalom.